Hey guys, Divyanga here from Our Journey at Home. Welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we are going to learn about how to teach children about ascending and descending order in maths. Okay. So if you haven't checked out any of the previous videos in our maths series, I highly suggest you to do check them out as check those videos out as well because they are really really helpful with lots of hands-on activities as well as activities to do in a notebook and or a worksheet okay so in today's video we are going to learn about ascending and descending order now as for any of the math skill there are prerequisites required for the child to know about before teaching on that skill okay so what are those prerequisites for ascending and descending order the child first must know quantities of numbers okay so the child should understand that the number 6 represents for a quantity of 6 objects or 6 units okay so this you can do using any hands on uh, material like uh, this like a manipulative like a marble or pom pom you can use anything that you have available in your house and teach the child that 6 represents a quantity 6 using that manipulative right now the second thing is the child must know and identify the smaller number and the bigger number okay so if the child is given two numbers or three numbers the child must be able to identify the smaller number from that lot and the bigger number from that lot okay so here in three and one three is the bigger number and one is the smaller number in 9 and 10 9 is the smaller number and 10 is the bigger number okay the next requisite is the same identify lesser than and greater than from each other okay so the child should be able to say that 3 is greater than 1 or 1 is lesser than 3 9 is lesser than 10 or 10 is greater than 9 so the child must really understand this concept in order to move forward for ascending and descending and i suggest you guys to wait until the child is five and a half to six to teach this because it can get a little confusing for the child to begin with okay so if the child knows these prerequisites very properly then you can start with this skill okay the fourth one is correct sequence of numbers but obvious that the child should know the correct sequence of number to write the correct order okay sequencing is order right so to understand the ascending and descending properly the child should be able to know the correct sequence of numbers in the correct way from 0 to 10 and as well as in the backward counting from 10 to 0 okay and uh, as for any skills, uh, start with the easiest first, okay? So, ascending is very easy to understand, so start with that, okay? Now, what are the different activities that you can do to practice the concept, okay? Uh, first and foremost, I would suggest you to draw a number line and use that with basic numbers from 0 to 10 or 1 to 10. Or you can also use number cards. If you have a flashcard, you can use that. Okay. Now I have given the child this problem. 5, 3 and 7. And ask the child to write these three numbers in their correct ascending order. Okay. So the child will go through the number line and see which number comes first. So 3. After that, 5. And after that, 7. So 3, 5, 7. Now, while teaching, you have to tell that ascending order is the um, smallest number comes first and the biggest number comes last, okay, in ascending order. And in descending order, the biggest number comes first and the smallest number comes last. So, if you are using the number line, tell the child that in ascending order, we go from left to right. And in descending order, we go from right to left, okay? All of these little techniques can help the child first to understand the concept, okay? Here, 
the child will not be able to completely tell you correctly right he will make mistakes and he will face some difficulties but that's okay that's a part of the process of learning right so don't worry just give them enough practice for the same and they will be able to understand this concept now what is the second activity the second activity is using craft sticks so um i was in a hurry to film this video so i couldn't make the activity but i'll share the activity in our facebook group okay so for now consider these are the craft sticks and you have drawn the number as well as the quantity it represents okay and now you have to arrange these three numbers in the ascending order so the lesser quantity comes first a little bigger quantity and the biggest quantity comes at last so 1 2 3 is the correct ascending order and what will be the correct descending order from biggest to smallest so 3 2 1 okay your yeah, this activity preparation will hardly take you 5 minutes to me but it's a very hands on activity and it really really helps so do make the craft six activity it really helps to understand and grasp the concept of ascending and descending okay and now these three are a little advanced once they know the ascending order and descending order using the hands on activity of craft six and then using the number line they can move on to this for the bigger numbers okay from 21 to 100 for example now here in the third one what you can do is use a hundreds chart for reference and use number cards if you have available uh what are number cards they are basically flash cards for numbers from 1 to 100 okay if you don't have that don't worry just use this hundreds sheet now this is a page from maths pack 1 okay so this is a hundreds chart and there are activities based on that so you can use just like this page or you can just draw out the hundred start it's nothing it goes across from 1 to 10 11 to 20 21 to 30 all the way up to 100 okay now use this hundred start as a reference and then ask the child to uh put the numbers in the correct ascending order or the descending order whichever one you are practicing right now okay now hundred chart is useful for numbers from 21 to 100 for numbers from 1 to 20 i would suggest you to do the craft six and the number line okay now the fourth fun activity or game you can do is a minute to win it okay so give them 10 20 30 problems and ask the child to put them in the correct ascending order and descending order in a minute okay so basically the child has to solve as many as possible in a single minute okay so in one minute the child should be able to do as much as possible to win the game okay so if the child is able to complete all 10 very good then for the next time give them 20 problems to solve in one minute now if the child reaches to the point that he can solve all the 20 in one minute then give them 30 problems okay so based on the child's capability as well as the stage he is at in learning ascending and descending order just tweak this game but it's really fun when you give them a sand timer or uh, just uh, start the stopwatch on your phone and um, give them a minute to solve these problems it's a really fun game and children will take it as a challenge and they won't even know that they are uh, learning and studying okay so include such hands on activities and games so the learning process becomes easier for the child and more fun and the fifth is doing worksheets or in a notebook again use the reference uh, use hundreds chart as a reference or the number lines to complete the worksheets or in a activity notebook so that's it guys these are the four five ways in which you can teach ascending and descending order through the child okay 
make sure that you fill the prerequisites first and then start with this concept okay um if you have any questions or any suggestions for any new videos in the math series then be sure to leave them as comments under this video and find all the helpful links in the description box of this video okay so take care guys bye bye see you next week